here, Donna from boysandgirlshairstyles.com. Today I have Mackenzie here. Um, we are going to show a haircut on her. She usually wears her bangs, just kind of a side swoop bang here. Um, she parts it about there. Um, she wants to change it. She wants to bring a lot of this hair here and have it come down. So we're going to do a really thick bang. So I'm going to show you how to cut that. Um, what I'm going to do first is just trim the length which you're going to want their head totally down. Then you can just go straight across. Just going to trim that. Okay, then comb that hair down. Okay. And then tilt their head so you can trim this side. Then when you get to the side, make sure her head is up and not down so it doesn't cut it shorter. Okay, now I'm going to put her head down again to do this length. Okay, now trim her side. And she has some longer layers in here, so we're going to go ahead and trim those also. Okay, so what you need to do, just come up to this top, and depending on how long um, you, layers you want, is how much you're going to take off up here. If you're wanting shorter layers, you know, go about there. She just wants hers kind of trimmed. So I'm going to come up here and just kind of chop into this. Okay, and then bring all this hair straight up. Okay, and then you come to the side, take a section and just bring that straight up. I like to point cut most of the time. That just means, you know, not, not cutting it straight across. Now I'm going to come and do this side. And the rest up. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> We just did a balayage color on, on Mackenzie also. We're going to do a styling video on this haircut and color. Um, so you might want to look into that too, just so you can see the finished product of what we've done. Okay, now just take all that top, including all the bang area, Hold it straight up and chop into that, okay? And then I'll show you how to um, connect all of this at the very end so you don't have any just really blunt cut. So it's all kind of blended together. Okay. All right, now what we're going to do is I'm going to come back here, um, God, I would say almost three inches. Okay, you're going to want to comb all this forward. Okay, and then the rest of this back. Comb down your sides. Okay. Okay, she's going to want to kind of part, she's not even going to really part maybe over here, like a straight part, so we're just going to kind of push this, this way, and then I'm going to start cutting with my scissors, you're just going to lightly go back and forth, okay, there goes off all that length. Again, I'm going to just 
keep cutting. If you put a ton of pressure on your shears, you're going to take out a lot of hair. So you just want to kind of just barely go back and forth with your scissors. Okay, I'm holding the hair down here just so I can kind of see where I want to cut this hair out of right there. Just kind of go down those sides. Okay, now I'm going to come to this side. I'm going to come down. Again, just kind of do your shears back and forth, like in and out, just, just a little bit. Come down these sides. Okay, now I'm going to come to this side. Okay, now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to just kind of cut into it. I'm going to hold this hair up a little. Just kind of cut into this. So this is not a blunt bang. We want it kind of different lengths. So you can just kind of hold that up and take these pieces out. Okay, now I'm going to hold this out, and you can see that bulk right there. I'm just going to kind of chop up into that. Just so it takes that bulk away. Okay, now, so you have all this short up here that's going to come this way. You've got all this long that's really heavy. Okay, I'm going to hold this up, and I'm going to start about up into here. And see, this won't be layers. If you used to cut layers that short, you know, kind of look funny. So you're going to want to hold this up and start, you know, about two inches in, two or three inches in, and just barely start taking that hair off of the top as you go out. Okay, so that's going to give it a lot more, like, a thicker look because then you have those shorter hairs up there, but then you don't have to have short, short layers to get this look. And then after I dry her, I might want to take the scissors to her bangs a little bit more to piece them out. So we will wait and see after I dry them to see how they're looking. Okay, now I'm just going to texturize her hair with the texturizing scissors. I'm going to just hold this up. Where it bends is where you need the volume, so you're going to just kind of press that up and go up, comb the hair out. This is going to give your hair body and volume so it's not so heavy. Okay. Do a little bit on this side. And your texturizing, you guys, you don't want to do it apart or around your hairline or anything because then you'll have little pokies. Okay, now we're just going to do another video on the styling part of it um, and you can see the finished product in the next video.